So guys, today I'm doing a new video. Look what I chose for my picture. For my picture, I chose none other than Gargamel from the Smurfs. Now, the Smurfs is not a show that I watched because it's way old and I'm not that old. But I chose it as an example because if you notice, Gargamel has certain qualities about him. And this is relating to what I'm going on to say. Gargamel kind of embodies all the negative aesthetics of a man that a man can possess. He has a bald head. He has bushy looking hair. He has gapped teeth, as you can see. And he has the, the big eyebrows. And he has the pointy nose. So if you possess these, uh, one of these facial aesthetics, Western society somewhat frowns upon these facial aesthetics. And it's not to say that Western society frowns upon it because now there's evolving standards and things are changing and people are more accepting of each other. But this stuff is actually written, this whole aesthetic is written into 19th or 17th century English, uh, English literature. For example, I'm going to ask AI right now, what does gapped teeth symbolize in Western literature? It's, and now it's giving me, a, excuse me for a moment, it's giving me this thing about Africa, which I'm not looking, I'm trying to look at, and I'm trying to look up in America what it symbolizes. So here's what gapped teeth, gapped teeth symbolize. It symbolizes poverty, idiocy, or deviousness. So, and this goes back to the Canterbury Tales with Geoffrey Chaucer. And it's uh it's about some guy, you know, it's about some guy. Uh it's about actually about uh this this guy's wife in the book, and she's said to be to be uh, you know, sneaky and uh sneaky and lustful and basically untrustworthy. So right off the bat, people just because you, you 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 grow up and you grow up as a person with gapped teeth people associate all these qualities to you because it's written in books from the 19th century from the 18th century and the 17th century and we know for the most part gapped teeth is not like a western aesthetic it's not a common western aesthetic you know so basically aesthetics that are not western are just seen as negative and bad I mean, you know, if you look at if you look at Gargamel, for example, you could even say he looks like a Italian guy or a Jewish guy, Sicilian, you know, and that's what they uh, portray as the bad guy. Basically, this is what they portray in uh, Western culture, you know, so all that aside. And besides how it's all interrelated, I mean, I've just got so much crap. I dealt with so much crap during my life because my appearance. And no, I have a good face. My face is fine. I look fine. I'm average. But my teeth. People, there is so much prejudice against people who have gapped teeth. Even if it's a small gap. Like my gap has gotten small because I'm fixing it. But that's the way it is. That's something I just wanted to talk about. I even lost a subscriber on my channel because there's a lot of normies in society now. People that I call normies, and I don't mean it in the sense of just normal people. I mean normies in the sense of people who are just not critical thinkers. So whenever I put topics or videos on YouTube and it defies the norm of what society says is cool, or what society wants you to be to be looking at, that person is likely to unsubscribe from my channel. And, you know, it, it's brutal because, like, there's this guy on YouTube. I know him. His name is Dustin Lewitt. 
and he, he's a he's a nice guy. He's not he's not the best guitarist in the world, but he has some interesting guitar stuff. And he only has like ninety three subscribers on YouTube, and he's just you know he's an average looking guy. He's a little chubby. He has some hair loss, and he can't even get a hundred subscribers on YouTube. So that's Dustin Lewitt. So society is just very prejudiced. Everything is gated. The way you think is gated. What you think is beautiful and what you think is not beautiful is gated. Opinions are gated. Pretty much everything society and society is gated and tailored. So that's why you can't, I don't really get to say my side of what I want to say and my experience. So when people who actually subscribe to my YouTube channel understand me and understand where I'm coming from, I'm not a person who had pretty privilege. I had to work on all these topics and study all these topics to finally get people to subscribe to my channel. And, you know, that's what it is. And and just, I had a lot of negative experiences with people. And there was no, there was no indication why I had these negative experiences with people. Sometimes when I was like going to job interviews, or sometimes when I was like talking to certain people and I, and these negative experiences never had an underlying reason with me having a personality at fault. So I'd say that some of these negative experiences are due to my looks being my gapped teeth, you know, well, the gap is closing up now. So I'm happy about that. So, you know, and that's that's pretty much all I wanted to say. You know, looks plays a big role in society and society is making you, is making most people brainwashed into their mind that only people who are, only people who are attractive, their opinions matter. Only people who meet this, this beauty standard, which is unrealistic, only they matter, they're smart, they're intelligent, they should be at the forefront of projects, the project managers, all these things. And it's so interwoven into our society that like people like me and Dustin Lewitt were barely even seen on YouTube. And there's plenty of other people too. So that's all I wanted to say. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you do. You know, if you want to subscribe, sure, do it. Try to make more videos and that's it.